to me, okay, to me. Ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then yeah. feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it. Or I can show you some f really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, not that, my friend, is... <laughs> very hard to do and you have to train you have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it it's there when you want to move you're moving and when you move you are determined to move not taking one inch not anything less than that if i want to punch him i'm gonna do it man and i'm gonna do it you see so i mean so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it to become one don't think pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Do you understand? Well, I, I mean, definitely in the beginning I had no intention uh, or, or whatsoever that what I, what I was practicing and what I'm still practicing now would lead to this <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> to begin with. Uh, but martial art has a very, very deep meaning as far as my life is concerned, because uh, as an actor, as a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned from martial art. All type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they are coming in to, I mean, for, and ask me to teach them not so much of how to defend themselves or how to do somebody in. Rather, they want to learn to express themselves through some movement, be it anger, be it uh, determination or whatsoever. So in other words, what I'm saying therefore, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is the natural instinct and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony, not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure natural or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. 